Hello everyone, it's time for another Rapid Randomizer review, and today's story is... The Aztecs. If you want to be surprised by Doctor Who, try a Rapid Randomizer review! And what if thieves walk among the gods? Then indeed, how shall a man know? Another William Hartnell story from Doctor Who's first season, The Aztecs is one of the first historicals. And look, it's just excellent. It's really, really good. The script by John Lou Carotti is at times poetic, and each of the characters is given their own believable motivation. The main villain, Tlatoxel, he's not just a villain for the sake of being evil, he has that quality which the best villains have, in that he believes he is genuinely doing the right thing. To him, Barbara is the villain. Barbara, of course, in this story, is mistaken for a reincarnation of the god Yataksa. And given that Barbara is a history teacher, she knows what is going to happen to the Aztec nation when Cortez arrives. And so she sets out to end human sacrifice. Now, this could be viewed as a bit difficult because we have a British character in Barbara coming into the Aztecs' lives and impersonating a god and telling them how they should be living. But Barbara's whole point is she wants to preserve what is good and noble and intelligent about the Aztec culture and do away with the human sacrifice because she knows that it is not necessary. And also it's implied that some of the other Aztec characters doubt that it is necessary as well. And Barbara's whole thing is imagine what could have happened to Aztec culture had they not had this human sacrificial element. And that sets her up in conflict with the Doctor, who tells her fascinatingly that history cannot be changed. This doesn't sound like it's a physical law. He's still trying to persuade Barbara not to try and change history. This sounds like a moral imperative that if Barbara does change history, it'll have unforeseen repercussions. Spoiler alert, Barbara does not succeed in changing history, and the story is more about the Doctor, Barbara, and their friends getting out of the situation. Now, this is very common for the historical stories of the era. It's not about changing history. There's, I think, only one historical in the 60s that has a science fictional element to it. It's more about surviving history, but also educating the audience. And that's something this story does really well in telling us about elements of Aztec culture, such as engineering and building, where they were years ahead of their time, but also holding that up to social elements, which we in the modern world might frown upon, such as, of course, human sacrifice, but also the idea of arranged marriage is challenged in this story by Susan. Now, when we get to the end of this story, obviously Barbara does not manage to change history, and the one person who really trusted her, Ortlock, she feels that she has deceived him. Meanwhile, the Doctor has his own subplot and a romantic subplot. Now, this was before the character had been totally established. So the program kind of gets away with it and gives him a really good foil in the form of Kameka. Kameka is an extremely worthy romantic partner of the Doctor. She is intelligent, with great grace, and also it seems a bit of a sadness to her as well, which starts to be alleviated by the Doctor, but of course it ends with her heart being broken and possibly the Doctor's as well. That's really well played. Susan and Ian get their own subplots too. Susan's not so much because the actress Carol Ann Ford was on holiday for two weeks and only appears in pre-filmed inserts, but still gets a really strong scene where she's rejecting the idea of arranged marriage. Ian, on the other hand, gets a subplot where he is a rival for the leader of the Aztec army, and his rival Ixta, again, there's a really good chemistry there of a grudging respect, but at the same time, Ixta is going to kill Ian. 
Now, looking back on this with a modern context, none of the Aztecs are played by Central American or Mexican actors. They're played by British actors in makeup, and that was standard for the time. That being said, the culture is portrayed sympathetically. Despite the fact that the story deals with human sacrifice, we see multiple aspects of the Aztec culture. Doctor Who at this time was trying to educate people about history, and the educational elements of this are really well woven into the story. Whereas perhaps in Marco Polo, for instance, <laughs> um, we'll talk about this later, but the discussion of how we get the word assassin in modern day English is really clumsy, John Luca Roddy does a much better job here. I have no hesitation in giving this story 10 out of 10. The script is excellent, the performances are great, it's a showcase for each of the regulars in a way, but particularly for Jacqueline Hill as Barbara. If you want to check out what classic Doctor Who historicals were like, this is the story to start with. All of its episodes exist. 10 out of 10, beautiful script, educational elements that'll teach you something about the culture, and a really good plot which involves the characters and asks questions about our modern morality versus morality from 500 years ago. Do check it out and I will see you tomorrow where I will be reviewing Arachnids in the UK. Thank you very much for watching.